Bonjour. Ça va? Hello, welcome to Channel 48. My name is Buck. Kijkers, van harte welkom. Thank you for tuning in. In this video, I'm gonna show you uh, my latest distro that I created for all my old iMacs that don't receive Catalina anymore. So I thought, let me make Catalina Linux. So I made a beautiful uh, distro. Uh, I called it Catalina Linux. And Catalina is that, that beautiful plane, you know, that, that water plane that flies there at Catalina Island. So I'm a big fan of these kinds of planes. So I thought, let's make a beautiful OS Catalina Linux. looks when it boots up you see that not dots but a nice little stripe same one you see in your iPhone so at this point uh, you can then log in Password will be channel 48. At this point, I'm gonna disconnect it from the internet. Okay, it's already disconnected, I think. because I want to install the system and I'm going to show you the install procedure okay so there we have the Mac in front of us so what will you do first it's very easy you will first need to repartition your drive let's look for gparted just type gp and there you're going to see it. partition editor you're going to start that one up are you gonna give it password channel 48 okay and up here you can see several partitions we're gonna delete them all yeah delete and delete so we have one partition and now we're gonna say apply so we deleted the previous operating system from the device and now we're gonna create a new partition it's gonna be a x4 and in free space we're gonna put 2048 we're gonna use that as a swap file you see that here we have 147 for the main drive for root and allocated space we're gonna create a new partition and we're gonna create a swap partition linux swap and we say add and now we're gonna say apply the changes and we're gonna apply that okay we applied it everything's looking good now we're gonna quit here now here on top you're gonna see a little green dot you see that there select it run it oops just hit okay 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 and close these windows there 
I put in channel 48. Okay, and now you're gonna find out that in here you will find a tab saying system install selected. Full name of the new user. Now create your account here. Yeah. You put in a password, new host name, give it any name you wish. I'm gonna call it Catalina. And then we go next. Okay, this part is kinda tricky. Look good what I'm doing. Up here you can see the 147. The first drive is 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 the is the main drive. Okay, and the main drive is divided in two partitions. Here, select transfer user configuration files. Very important. Okay, we're going to select it and set. Oh, yeah. Okay, if we cannot hit the mount point here, we're going to unmount. Okay. So you just select on mount and now we select here the SDA1 the 147 gigabytes yeah I hope you can see it all and then you're gonna hit mount point the first forward stripe it's called root okay so you did that you must hit uh, here you must hit the arrow to confirm you see now it's confirmed you see the stripe is there that means that partition is root and the two gigabytes we're gonna make it a swap and then we give a little raja d there you see that so now it's saying swap and root here on top so the next thing to do is to leave the install grub to bootloader leave it on automatic okay because you're not dealing with the uh, with the EFI device, so you did not create the EFI partition uh, at the front of the drive. This is normal installation. And now you can hit next. And the system will be installed. So there we go, we're installing the system. Okay, let's go for it. Booting up the system.
FCE build Linux Mint 19 latest okay and I hope that this all will look good you hear that the hard drive I should put it in uh, some SSD drive uh, in this machine. There is a problem with this hard drive, 100%. And there we are. Catalina The password that I just created And let me see if it got the desktop right if everything looks as expected This looks good until now At this point, it will look as if the installation failed. The desktop will not load fully. Well, don't worry, just leave it for a couple of minutes, just like that. Go make yourself a cup of coffee, and when you come back, the desktop will be almost ready for you. I say almost because we will have to fix uh, two little things, and that's the background and the little Apple logo in the start menu but you will see that as soon as the desktop is started up it took here about four minutes and there it goes boom so what do we see we see that we see that the wallpaper was not done right and our apple is gone the icons look good, dock looks good, wallpaper was not found. So uh, we go to uh, right mouse click desktop settings. And folder. We set to other. And then in Catalina, we will find a folder saying systems. And up here, you will find some. Just hit it. You will find some pictures there. Boom. Okay, so wallpaper was fixed. On the find the right mouse click, properties. And on the icon, as you can see, it's blanked out. We're gonna click it. And we go to Catalina. Systems. And you will find two start buttons. But you will also find the Apple Start PNG. And then you grab that one and then the system is done this one you move to the left I mean to the right and 
the system is almost perfect it needs to fit exactly with this edge here and it should be on top of the dock because the dock has intelli height so it will hide if something goes over it you see that so now the system is installed and now we can put back the ethernet cable and then i can demonstrate to you what the system can already do without you inst not having to install anything okay you can immediately go ahead and watch live tv at once here ARD live streams it gave the error there but don't worry about it that was just a startup error and up here you can go ahead and watch any live stream that you are allowed to watch that means certain live streams cannot be watched if you're not living in Germany you see that live TV if you want to listen to live radio from your country open up the browser the browser I think is the best job that I did uh, on my in, on, in all my distros I do that so in fact any of my distros will have this all built in um, I have several plugins built in now at this point I found out that my plugins were not immediately available so I think another reboot of the system will um, activate them uh, but uh, I found out that after a little while uh, they were suddenly activated so that was kind of a little bit strange uh, that I found so um, yeah let's go to the part where I activated them or where they activated themselves automatically okay I don't know what happened but after some minutes suddenly all the extensions start working so up here you can listen to the radio all countries worldwide and of course Jamaica Canada Mexico Trinidad Tobago Suriname Radio Apenti let's see the happy station in the nation there it is oops we have radio ABC that one does not work oh it works today the sound is uh, not so fantastic of this uh, of this of this um, Mac the player is a bit uh, the player is fantastic but I mean the sound of the speakers is, is useless I blew them up I didn't know that it could be blown up so you have nice dark mode here on top you have little buses that will take you straight up to the news from your country if you also set it up your speech it will start reading the headlines for you so you can sit back and relax and let the thing read to you it's just reading all the headlines of course you can also set it to another language I have Google Translate Dutch 
these are the free languages the other languages you should pay for I don't know how it works Google WaveNet IBM Watson enable custom voices so I have it on Dutch it's just fine okay um, as you can see the the background is not black it's it's brown okay reads really nice it's uh, very nice for your eyes better than black black is kind of yeah it's not good to read too many white text on black background did you know that so that's why I don't make the background black okay I make it brown light brown it's easier on your eyes and in the dark it's also not too light it's not hurting your eyes so for instance an article like this and I just hit play and the thing start, will start reading to me that's about it i hope you liked this distribution if you did leave this video a thumbs up and get ready for lineage os linux distribution that you're gonna see in the next video install procedure will be just the same as what you saw in this video uh, try to remember it uh, of course all tools are in the distro so you can immediately start with repartitioning your your drive and you know create a fantastic machine from your old iMac thank you for watching see you in the next video on the